everyone. It's Colleen patrick Gaudreau from JoyfulVegan.com. Welcome to Vegan Point of View. A cursory search on Google or Amazon for the phrase, we can change the world, let's change the world, garners millions of results for articles and books meant to excite and inspire readers to make a difference. Often served up in easy to digest lists, 10 things you can do to change the world, 10 things even you can do to change the world, 30 things you can do to change the world in 30 seconds. The proclamation to change the world is as old as our awareness that humans are messing things up. The problem is we're asking the wrong thing of people. Here's my point of view. It's not that we can change the world. It's that we are changing the world in ways that have harmful and often irreversible effects for ourselves and the billions of other life forms with whom we share this planet. In other words, we don't need to change the world. We're already doing that through the extraction and burning of fossil fuels for our industrialized food and transportation systems. We're dramatically changing the temperature of this planet through rapid and ever-increasing deforestation. We're changing the lives of the human and non-human animals who are displaced from their homes through our Catholic use of polluting fertilizers and insecticides and herbicides and heavy metals, we're changing the very air and soil and water that support land and aquatic animals, including ourselves, not to mention the microorganisms that maintain all life. To meet the gluttonous and frivolous demands of the ever-growing human population, we threaten, manage, or destroy populations of every other species. As individual animals are hunted and poached or stolen and sold into captivity for zoos, circuses, and aquatic theme parks, whole families are broken up and lives are permanently altered. To cultivate crops or permit grazing for livestock, public lands are given over to private industries who demonize and kill wildlife, clear forests, and change entire ecosystems. To create faster growing, higher producing animals, we're changing the reproductive cycles, genes, and lifespans of the animals we breed only to kill and consume. The waste produced by these billions of animals contains disease-causing pathogens such as salmonella and E. coli. That waste contaminates groundwater, rivers, and streams, and it sickens and kills thousands of human and non-human animals. Make no mistake about it, we are changing the world. What we need to do is stop changing the world and instead focus on changing ourselves, our habits, and our behavior. I am often asked if I really think it's possible that people can make a difference, and my answer is a resounding no. I don't think people can make a difference. I know people do make a difference. Every action we take, every product we buy, every dollar we spend, everything we eat has an impact on someone or something else. We don't get to decide whether we can make a difference or not. We get to decide only if the difference we inevitably make is negative or positive. That's it. Those are our only two choices. There are no neutral actions. Everyone says they want to make a difference, but I think we forget that in order to make a difference, we may have to do something different. And the difference between believing that we can change the world and understanding that we do change the world is the difference between arrogance and humility. And therein lies the solution. Therein lies the hope for ourselves and for our planet. If you like what you heard today, please give it a thumbs up, pass it on, and be sure to subscribe to this channel so you will be the first to hear about more videos. Of course, please leave your comments below and support these messages by clicking on the support link and becoming a supporter. Of course, visit joyfulvegan.com for lots more information about living healthily and compassionately. For the animals, this is Colleen Patrick-Goudreau. Thanks for watching.